hello and welcome to Ascending Without Wings. This is the second of three channel readings that I was guided to do today. So just going to pull two energy oracle cards. One to show us where we've been or where our focus has been and then where we are going or where we're headed. So where have we been? Where have we been? Ooh, in con yeah, in financial constraints, thanks to Corona, um, all of us have been struggling a bit. But that's the number thirteen. That's the number of the goddesses We're down to a four. Number four is a number of completion, numerology wise. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. But the cupboard is pretty bare, and there's some cobwebs there. So yes, there have been some tight times that you're coming out of. It might seem. So where are we headed? Ooh. Okay. Attachment. Mm. Okay, that kind of attachment. Releasing the mask. It's like she's just taken that mask off and she's about to throw it to the wind. Releasing attachment to your... The persona I just heard. That you have held all your life. It's almost like you are finally... One of those NFGC. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Not caring about anybody else's opinion or what they think or what they want. It's kind of standing in your truth and going, you know what? This is who I am. Beneath all the programming and all the expectations of family, friends, career, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is who I actually am. So take it or leave it. It's a very empowering kind of energy. I do like it. But with all the grey there, slightly sad energy as well. So try not... I hope this is not a very gloomy reading, but... A little disclaimer, I'm not going to buff over anything. If something comes up, I will say it. Um, both of these cards don't have a very happy feel to it. So I'm hoping that this reading will be nice and supportive and give you some information that might sort of soothe you for the time being and help you keep going until things get better. Okay, so first off, let us start with the card that represents you. The Quirant himself, please. It is the card that represents person this reading is for. Wow, okay, you're a spiritual person. You could also be married. <laughs> this card is about marriage, but it's also about spirituality. So you could also be in a spiritual teacher kind of role, or someone that's actually gone into this ascension path and just stepped into understanding that you are a spiritual leader and getting a group of that. So I'll get all the cards out and then we'll have a little chat about it. But that's a pretty good card to start off and that represents you, so that's pretty cool. And then we have what your challenges are, what is your challenges or obstacles right now for this person. The challenges or obstacles. Okay. Put those back. Can I have the challenges or obstacles? One card. Alright. Knight of Wands. Okay. Uh, this is a very one night standy energy. And I even heard that just then. So it's kind of like. You are in a state of spiritual growth, but everybody around you is just like, ha ha ha, hey, I like you, I went to peace with you. But it's just like, you are so not interested. Because of your evolution, it's kind of like, no, I'm not a piece of meat, go away. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but that's, <laughs> that's the feeling I'm getting here. It's like a divine feminine starting to stand in her power, and all the masculines are like, mm -mm, baby, oh, oh. Uh, or vice versa, you know what I mean? Like, it's got that energy about it. So, what's your... Challenges or obstacle? Oh, sorry. The foundation of this reading. What is the foundation of this reading? Wow. Wow. <laughs> the temperance card. Major healing. Okay, that's good. Balancing your emotions and healing. I like it. So, what is the recent past? What brought us here, please? Card of victory. So that's good. Feeling victorious in regards to something. What is crowning this reading, please? Crowning this reading. Unburdening yourself. Putting down the burdens that you have taken on in the physical world. Too many obligations, too many responsibilities. Things like that. What's in the immediate future, next steps. <laughs> Page of Wands. Yes. Yes. Very good. A very passionate messenger in regards to what they've gone through or they've experienced or they've learnt themselves. Um, yeah, it's a card of pretty intellectual card, but it's pretty fiery as well. Uh, sacral chakra colors going on and solar plexus. So standing in your power, big time. Um, all right. So can I have a card that represents, um, this 
person himself. What represents this person? The High Priestess. This is you, baby. This is how the universe sees you. Okay? So you're a very spiritual person. You're very in intuitive. Uh, doesn't matter if you're what gender. <laughs> like we're not specific. But you are quite nurturing and quite maternal, I just heard. So, that's a pretty beautiful card to represent you. And then, what is in your environment? Whoa, okay. What's <laughs> A page of cups, I just heard an offer. Mm, hello. Somebody in your environment, close to you, could be a flatmate. Uh, could be a partner that you're already living with that might be thinking of proposing. Mm -hmm, something like that. Um, I believe this is the next card. <laughs> Funny, I'm saying that and the King of Pentacles flipped up in my hand. So, could it be an earth sign that is your partner or your flatmate or someone that seems to be like, Oh, oh hi Christos, you are amazing. I think you are really amazing. <laughs> They're very emotional. Um, They're kind of immature because it's a page. Uh, so, not very, you know, mid-twenties kind of emotional maturity. But they're a person that's very sincere and very loving. So I can say that. Um, however, let me get the rest of the cards out before I get sidetracked. Alright, so what's in your hopes and fears? What's in the hopes and fears of this person who's reading these? Mm. Can I have hopes and fears, please? Wow, okay. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, nice. Getting off the karmic wheel, I just heard. Yeah, don't worry. A lot of us don't want to come back for another incarnation. We just have jackets. And... Oh, the final outcome card is the ultimate card of transformation, the death card. Okay. The death of the old you, the birth of the new you. And as I was saying, with that attachment card, it's like you releasing the old you. Yeah. If that final outcome card does not sum it up perfectly, I don't know what does. I like how that works, but let's have a look at these cards and have a little chat around them. Sorry, the cards going over. All right, so the card that represents you. Wow, the Hierophant. Okay, um, dogma. Okay, you could be a little stubborn, a little bit uh sticky, like you know, stick by the rules, nippy kind of thing. In some ways, my head just turned to the financial constraints card. It's almost like you make your own life difficult. Because you're so rigid and so by the book and so following the rules and too scared to get in trouble. Like, too scared to colour outside the lines, too scared to ruffle feathers, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of feel that. But looking at this reading, you're going to release that, okay? Because you're quite a spiritual person. You're quite evolved in your old soul and you're quite deep, I just heard. Um, <clears throat> however, I don't think you sort of been able to get a real grasp of that, really. You've been in a distorted, um, evolved state, in a sense, because it's kind of like you've taken things too seriously. I think religion may have been a part of it as well. It's kind of like you may have had a religious upbringing with this card being the card that represents you. Um, church, anything that's sort of structured. Yeah, you've actually got the, looks like the Pope kind of thing, and there's two priests sitting there. So, very much, you could be somebody that had been brought up um, you know, under a spiritual strict sort of upbringing, and so that sort of stuck with you. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I feel like there is some sort of religious influence here, but that is part of you know your spiritual foundation, who made what made you who you are now. But in your challenges or obstacles, you've got the Knight of Wands. It's almost like you're a very evolved and deep person and you're very respectful and very aware of mingling energies and things like this. But the energy is coming towards you. I feel like this is could be one person, could be a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That is, has a lot of passion for you. Um, and is just very, very eager to get to you. But they've gone through a lot of growth. Okay, um, whoever this person is, maybe they've been in your life and it is Mercury retrograde at the moment. So... Could be somebody coming back from the past that is very, very passionate for you. But you see these lizards on his attire with the tail in its mouth. It actually shows the end of a cycle. So this person has ended a karmic cycle and is coming out of this. Now, if this was Twin Flames, I could totally see that because that would be the Divine Feminine being the Hierophant. <clears throat> and the challenge being a distorted masculine coming at you uh, in not evolved enough kind of state. It's kind of like, hello, I'm here in my divine feminine high priestess energy and you're coming at me like the Knight of Wands wanting a one-night stand. Like, 
See you later, boyo. <laughs> boyo, or girl, or whatever the case may be. But it's kind of like that kind of energy coming at you. And that is a challenge or the obstacle. Knowing that it does come a place from a place of love, okay? Um, there is a lot of passion here. And there's a lot of growth. It comes from the right place, but it's expressed in a slightly immature energy because it's a knight. Okay, he's not a king. <laughs> knight is not a king. All right, so it's that immature sort of energy. So try to rise above it because that is your challenge, okay? How you're going to handle it and how you're going to take it when it comes at you. Um, and I feel like, oh yeah, it's coming, baby. It's coming. It's, he's flying at you, okay? He's forgotten to put his visor down. He's that eager to get to you. And I don't mean to be gender specific. I'm just saying because of cards, okay? 